Hello, my name is Sofia Velek and I organized the M100 Young European Journalists Workshops this year. Um, we had 25 participants, um, 10 from Europe, 15 from the countries of the Eastern Partnership and Russia. And this year's topic was political education in the social web. Uh, Nils Timmermans, I'm coming from Belgium. I'm 24 years old and I'm a voluntary journalist at Stamp Media, a youth press agency. Um, and also specialized in social media. Hi, my name is Irene Benedicto. I'm from Barcelona, Spain. I'm 24 years old. I work as a press officer at the Spanish at a Spanish foundation, working on international development projects. And uh, I also work as a freelance journalist. And my main bits are migrations, feminism, and ecology. Uh, my name is Kirill Filimonov. Um, I am a participant from Russia here, I'm living in Sweden, and I'm doing my PhD <clears throat> and teaching at Uppsala University in Sweden. I really like this workshop because it was very practical uh, already from the beginning. Uh, for example, uh, on uh, Tuesday in the beginning of the week we learned about mobile reporting and we had the opportunity to go out ourselves and immediately shoot videos and learn to edit them on our phones uh, ourselves. We have uh, been doing workshops where we learn by doing, um, so we've been, we have had classes on mobile journalism. That was very interesting to me because I graduated only three years ago, but when I did video journalism, we never practiced mobile journalism. We did more like TV documentaries or um, longer and with big cameras, professional cameras, reportages. So learning to do uh, these kind of videos with your smartphone. Uh, we focused a lot on fake news, I think, and we focused a lot on the issues of objective truth. What is objective truth? How can you um, even, um, you know, the fact that there is perhaps no uh, uh, facts in themselves, neither true or false, but they constitute, they create a certain narratives and the narratives is what you should really discuss rather than facts in themselves. Um, so I think that was the idea we focused on in the last days, at least, you know, in maybe more private conversations with participants. Um, I also like, for example, a workshop about uh, fake news that was really a very useful workshop because in four hours time we learned uh, countless uh, tools and websites uh, that can, can be used to uncover fake news, fake photos, fake videos. Um, and last but not least, I also like the fact that there were a lot of people from Eastern European countries, for example, people with whom I wouldn't normally get in touch. And um, I also learned their view uh, on topics such as fake news, but also migration uh, or, uh, for example, also uh, what social media. What inspired me the most here was to work on topics such as fake news and the revolt the rebuild of trust in media. I think those are very, very important topics in our era. And uh, especially working with, together in this workshop with uh, journalists from Eastern Europe, when it's been a few years since those topics are extremely crucial for, for people to get informed. Uh, we've learned so much from their experience and, and in Western countries like, like Spain or, or there were people from Italy, Belgium, um, we can learn so much from their experiences. Like I'm talking about uh, fact-checking projects, for example, um, that I think it, it will be one of the main takeaways uh, for most of yeah, us. We're talking about how to use social media uh, like Instagram, like Snapchat, which are instant, which work here and now. How can you use them to foster democratic debate? And I do feel that there is a tension between you know, very simplistic messages, very simplistic eye-catching um, headlines and votes and polls, like, do you like it, yes or no? And then, you know, a more in-depth democratic debate. So I think that there is a tension uh, between, um, you know, more reflexive discussion and the kind of behavior that we as political subjects, as voters, as citizens, are being sort of thrown into with um, the rise of the social media, very instant social media. We focused on two different parts. On the one hand, we wanted to um, teach our participants um, how to um, develop um, skills in mobile reporting and storytelling. And on the other hand, on fake news and how to deal with hate speech. Yes, check out our website. See you.